Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I finally finished getting the tyres on, the new tyres, taking the old wheels off, going to the tyre place, bringing them back. The caravan was on an angle, so it was really hard. You'll see that in the video anyway. So, looking back at it, this is what we did. Hope you enjoy it. If you've got any questions, just ask down below. Cheers. Now I knew these wheels hadn't been enough for at least five years, so I knew they were going to be very tough. And my arms are already aching. So, what I learned at school in physics, well, actually, I didn't really listen much in physics. Sorry, Mr. Sterling, if you'd ever watch this. Um, but my dad told me how to do this, and he was a very clever man. And it saved me a lot of pain in the arms later. Just to that. Not sure. Right, not a hundred percent sure where this is supposed to go to, but surely if I put it on the axle then that'll be fine, yeah. No, I'm sure. Let's have a go. Right, so we're gonna need to loosen these to enable the other side to come up. Oh dear. <laughs> no, it's a nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> So after messing about for about oh, more than half an hour, I've managed to get the thing raised up using two different jacks at two different points without the proper gear. So I just need to pop this off now, get it to the local tyre place and see what the damage is going to be, money wise that is. Of course, it did have to start raining halfway through, didn't it? That doesn't help. No wonder I've got grey hair under all this. I'm getting too old for this, but... Here we go. It doesn't help that the caravan was on a slant. Don't tell me I'm going to have to unscrew that as well. Let's have a look. There we go. And that is how to take a caravan wheel off. So I've got myself one of these. Uh, hopefully to lift that thing up. So I took this wheel and the spare wheel off to the garage and it cost me a neat 165 quid but hey, safety's best isn't it? It took some fiddling about, I had to raise it up a bit more 
thought we got there in the end. It's perfect, what we'll have to do. And there you go, wheel done. This one's been very troublesome, very tight, very hard to get up. Ooh, it's a weird looking one, this one. Ooh. Excellent. Oh yeah. It's, uh, it's much easier if you take this off. So let's do that. They are supposed to have little white cups on them, but they've deteriorated and completely rotted away. Uh, there we go. As you can see, it's a little bit grubby around there. So we're just going to give it a bit of a clean up. No point in putting the mucky one back on. And this will make sure with the grips on the uh, new hubcaps slot in nice and tight so we don't lose them on our first little trip. It's looking a lot better than it did, they were really grubby. Hopefully it goes on easier than the one. Oh, no, no, it doesn't. <laughs> it needs to go up higher. Oh well. Back in a minute. A few more turns, I think, and we'll be right.
I have no idea what I was babbling on about here, but just to make sure you get them nice and tight by finger or tighten them up with the wheel brace a little bit. And then I'm going to let it down again on the jack, but make sure you raise the car steadies first, otherwise it won't go anywhere and you might damage the chassis a little bit. So we're going to make sure it's nice and tight, doing the diagonals. Not really sure why, but my dad told me to do it that way. And he knew what he was doing, so... Oh. That's probably a good way to do it. That's a technical term for it. You can see they've already got some cracks in. Once I get some of them screw caps, that'll look just dandy. So now to make it all pretty, we're going to put this on, but don't make the mistake that I did the first time. We put it on and I was like, well that's no good is it? And then I discovered this little thing. So this fits in here, make sure you line this up with this and this. So let's have a go. them inside. There we go, it's all in nice and tight. Jolly good thump. to get it on, but as you can see, it's got a little crack in it. So either I was a bit too strong, or they're just pretty much rubbish. But there you go, it's on anyway, it looks better than it did all rusty. It's nice and tight. There you go. They're busy at the moment, so I'm going to pop back later this after. They always do a good job, though. Well, I'm back for me tyres. Hopefully, they're done. Tell you done. So we're all good in that compartment. It's time to put the spare tire back into its position. I'm not really looking forward to it. As you can see, it's really, really rusted up. And it's probably 
probably not really a good idea to square pretend WD-40 onto the lens of your GoPro. I would definitely give that one a miss. Mm. They don't look like they're going to come off in a hurry, do they? Let's see. So I'll give it all a jolly good wiggle and a good thumping with the hammer. That usually does the trick. I wasn't going to be defeated, so I just kept giving it a go, really. A little bit of a squirt, a little bit more wiggle, a little bit more hit with a hammer. Did you notice I didn't use a big hammer, I've just got a tiny hammer, because I'm not a brute. I have some finesse, you know. That doesn't look high enough to get a tire in, so let's see. Well, as you can see, it's quite clearly broken off and uh, I can't use that again. So I'm going to need to either, oh, look at it, watch this. Not good. Can I make one of these? Now I can't find anything on the internet that tells you how to do this, so you should probably thank me. <laughs> That goes in there, that goes up there, that slots onto there. And that's it, as far as I can see. But that looks like it'll rattle about. Hmm. Went in a bit too easy, didn't it? I wonder if you have to screw it up or something. I think that might be it. So we need a new catch then. Eh? And do you think the sell them in the shop? I wouldn't have thought so. But we know what to do now anyway. I want to say that's the end of the tires so we've done the left side, we've done the right side and we've done the spare tire so I'm going to leave it at that. Anyway if you've enjoyed it or well maybe it's not enjoyed it but learned something then give us a thumbs up and you can give us a subscribe as well if you like so I'll catch you next time. Cheers.